pay. At least it's honest work. Excuse me. Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just how it is. Nothing to see here. Hey there. See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. What do you mean you can't open the gate? <sighs> Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open this gate. Gate right now. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month. <laughs> You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <sighs> Sounds good. Let's go. Another great day in Diamond City. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? I always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. 
Who can help me? Well, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Head on inside. Myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go to the old place. Ah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks, and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. And you start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warn. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night, and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. So what are you doing in Diamond City, anyway? I came here looking for someone. Let me guess. That someone's gone missing, right? That's what I'm telling you. So who is it? I'm looking for Sean. He's my son. Less than a year old. You have a son, mister? Man, you're old. Mm, you're in bad luck. No one tries to find missing people in Diamond City. Missing people means the Institute is involved. And no one's going to want to get the Institute's attention. Fine. I'll ask around somewhere else. Remember, the Institute's out there, newcomer. Watch your back. Shopping at night? Diamond City surplus is always in. Today's Halloween, but do we get treats? No, it's all tricks all day. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open 24 hours a day. Let's see what you got. Excellent.
there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Read all about it. Institute replaces people with machines. Are you next? I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. Man's yeah, gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. You ever do something huh? fun? Talk to Run the base the wall if you trust history. <sighs> a beer and my slippers after this shift. That's all I ask. Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but... Now Nick's disappeared, and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry.
Move along. Should have just run. Replacing me. 
Please, please help. I don't want to die. Just to keep your mouth shut. Please, please help. I don't want to die. Just to keep your mouth shut. Oh, God. It's going to kill me. Just to keep your mouth shut. Please, you got to help me. This guy. What the? Oh. Hey there. You saved my life. I can't thank you enough. Thank God you showed up when you did. I think that thing was really gonna do it. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Shit, he ain't got the balls up. to just kill him. Getting rained on over here. He's here for the detective. 